Preference structure is another key component of conversation analysis of a talk. We know JCNC pairs represent a certain sequence of uh, various uh, speech acts. We do perform certain social and speech functions through adjacency pairs, and there is an expected or socially acceptable uh, way of their occurrence. I mean, a question is, uns is always answered. It, so we have a question-answer adjacency pair in adjacency pairs. But not all uh, functions or actions are equal. Sometimes uh, in, we do not get the desired response in, in second parts of uh, our conversation. To elaborate this further, I might say that uh, there is a possibility that a question might not be answered by, by the uh, desired answer which we are, uh, we are expecting. It may be responded by another question. It may be responded by, uh, by, the, by the denial of the existence of the substance which is being uh, asked as a question. Or there, there are other possibility. For example, a question might be answered by a partial answer and not by the desired answer or complete answer. It may be answered by a statement of ignorance, maybe by a denial of the relevance of the question. Uh, somebody might say that this question is not relevant to the situation. And it may uh, altogether deny the presupposition of the question. Uh, for example, we can see if somebody asks, what does Joe do for a living? The answers could possibly be, do you need to know? Oh, this and that. That's quite careless uh, answer. Uh, I have no idea. Probably not a desired answer. Here. Uh, the person who asked the question was looking for a concrete, specific answer about his occupation or, or a source of earning. But we're getting something uh, less specific, something irrelevant in form of responses. Let's see more. What's that to do with it? He doesn't do anything. I mean, we got different answers, but not the one we were actually looking for. A first part that contains a request or an off offer has an expectation uh, that the second part will be an acceptance. When we offer something or invite somebody for something, we do expect that the, uh, that the response would be of acceptance. Uh, but that is not the case in all situations. We might get a refusal. Uh, but in pragmatics, we do expect, or in conversation analysis, we do expect that the more structurally, more likely answer would be of the acceptance and a lack of acceptance or denial or refusal would be the less preferred or dispreferred response in this situation. Technically, preference is an observed uh, pattern in talk and not a personal wish. So the preference would be the preferred answer. Preference structure divides second parts into preferred, structurally uh, expected, next act, and this preferred, structurally unexpected, uh, uh, next act uh, in various social acts which we, which we perform through an utterance. For example, have you got a light? Somebody might say yes. And that's probably the preferred uh, answer. And we got a preference structure as per our structurally uh, expected way. But in response to the same question, have you got a light? Uh, somebody might say, no, sorry, I don't smoke. And this is probably this preferred or less likely uh, answer to this sequence. According to Levinson, the general patterns of preferred and dispreferred structures may be presented as a table in front of you. And they, there are only few examples. There could be more First part is of assessment, for example, in first uh, column uh, where we start uh, the, the, the type of social act. It's in the first part, it is assessment. Uh, and the preferred response or preferred second part would be agree. And the dispreferred would be disagree. Somebody might not agree with your, uh, with your assessment. So there is a possibility. Invitation might get a preferred response in form of acceptance and might get a refusal 
as a dispreferred uh, option. Similarly, offer has preferred option as accept and dispreferred uh, option as decline. Proposal might uh, get agreed or might uh, get a disagreement as a dispreferred uh, option. A request may be accepted or uh, as a preferred uh, option and may be refused as a dispreferred option. So they could, uh, based on social action, uh, based on the nature of social actions or speech uh, acts we perform through adjacency pairs, there may be possible preferred and dispreferred uh, replies to these to our speech acts or the first parts of our adjacency pairs. This preferred second parts have much in common. They are usually lengthy in the material. They involve more words because when we provide this preferred option, you, you, would, uh, you would tend to explain things further and you would uh, like to be more polite. And for that matter, you might have to need, uh, you might need more words than in, than in case of the preferred answers. And they also represent distance and lack of connection. Mm. They often have elements of delay uh, uh, in form of the use of words like, um, well, let, let me see, uh, he, um, uh, kind of things. And they have also elements of apology in some cases. For example, you might, before refusing, you might say, I'm sorry. Uh, to say that, uh, but I won't be able to come or I won't be able to make it. So they have elements of uh, apology. Uh, sometimes we have also the element of uh, appreciation and elements of explanation. Uh, usually in case of dispreferred options, uh, we have an example in front of you. Uh, participant A says, could you come to our party tonight? Participant B who is unwilling to come to the party or who uh, do not want to come to the party and he has to utter a dispreferred option here. He would probably go for a strategy or for an element of explanation here uh, and also for the element of apology uh, and element of appreci appreciation. He would say, he, well, thanks for the invitation. This is, this is an, an element of appreciation, but I'm afraid I can't make it this time. Uh, you see, I'm running an ad in the newspaper and I have to stay near the phone. He's, showing, he's explaining why he, he can't come because he has to listen to phones as, as a result of ad which he has given to a newspaper. He has to listen to a full, a phone calls on regular intervals. So he cannot stay away from his phone for a, for a longer period, which, which, is possibly, which, which is possible in case if he attends uh, the party. So he has explained the whole situation uh, to, uh, to the person who has invited him in order to mitigate the uh, element of impoliteness. So, uh, preference structure uh, are also an important element of uh, conversation analysis and they are also tied with other elements of conversation analysis for, for example, adjacency pair. And this, uh, uh, this kind of preference structures do have their discourse meanings uh, for example, in case of politeness or impoliteness and the linguistic construction uh, may give us uh, more meanings than what is said.